Hi friends, you can see another very very simple topic that come under module 3 optimization. We know mathematical economics, our core course. Munam the chapter le, it is simple item or topic. Okay, problem based or la, amakar university exam ne, or a five mark expect ayam bache na, it is simple item or topic. Significance or importance or relevance of Lagrange multiplier. Previous videos le, valare detail item discuss ayi the trende. We know that Lagrange multiplier that come under constrained optimization. Okay, I don't want to explain in a detailed way. It is very very simple topic. There are points list out to you. That's the only thing that you can do. You can do the answer in the exam. You can give a 5 mark. Okay, you must give an introduction. That is, you know, meaning of Lagrange multiplier. That is, you know, constrained optimization technique. Optimization means, you know, either maxima or minima okay utility maximization cost minimization or profit maximization we know all these points like that okay we see lagrange multiplier and the parayana concept introduction part we will discuss ayedo lagrange multiplier engeyana construct cheyunnathu objective function undavu constraint undavu adu ubayogichittu nammude lagrange multiplier lambda constraint maayitte multiple chayinu, then objective function might add ayinu. first order condition and ayinu, partial derivative with respect to unknowns that is simultaneous ayit solve ayinu, critical values ayinu. second order condition and ayinu, border hessian maximization ayinu, greater than zero ayirikum adhava positive ayirikum border hessian will be less than zero or negative in the case of minimum so, significance of Lagrange multiplier, we can simply say it is an integral part of constrained optimization. Okay, either maxima or minima. Significance of Lagrange multiplier, equals to 10, we have mark expect here. See, please give a beautiful introduction. Okay, nalla introduction. That is, you can just think about, you know, optimization. Okay. That is, you know, either maximization or minimization. Here, you know, optimization that indicates, you know, constrained optimization. That is the significance of Lagrange multiplier. Okay. We can use the technique of Lagrange multiplier in the case of constrained optimization. Here you can see either maximization or minimization. Okay. And more than that, you know, we can use this technique in the case of more than two variables okay or more than single variables that is Lagrange multiplier is extensively used in the you know a multi-variable function or optimization of multi-variable functions that is also very important okay optimization of multi-variable functions okay now in the previous videos we detail I to discuss just point by side and it is also you know very useful in the case of you know two or even more uh, constraints multi constraints okay constraints function optimization that is you know maxima or minima kandubidikane lagrange multiplier valare valare useful this technique is widely used in economics especially in the field of you know it is uh, extensively used in you know utility maximization okay then uh, cost minimization then similarly profit maximization okay and etc 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 see significance or importance of lagrange multiplier and the chodi kumbo uh, economics in the applications is very very high utility maximization that is consumer equilibrium profit maximization or cost minimization you know producer equilibrium okay in this field like a very extensive way to use in the technique on the Lagrange multiplier as well Lagrange multiplier in the lambda which shows you know the marginal impact upon the objective function when we make a change in the constants in the constraints 
ओके कंस्ट्रेंट्स लेला फॉर एग्जांपल यूटिलिटी फंक्शन ले सपोज लैम्डा सिंकल जो हंड्रेड इसलिए दिस लैम्डा शोस द मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी ऑफ मनी सो आई वुड लाइक टू लिस्ट आउट सम पॉइंट्स दैट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ लेगरांज मल्टीप्लायर ओके यान रिपीट ये नो सिग्निफिकेंस और इम्पोर्टेंस और रेलेवेंस ऑफ लेगरांज मल्टीप्लायर अंदर लाइक क्वेश्चन वन नाल निगल से ये अंदर नल्ले रे हेडिंग ओढ़ का सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ लेगरांज मल्टीप्लायर और एक इंट्रोडक्शन ओढ़ का लेगरांज मल्टीप्लायर के डेफिनेशन अधिन्दे एक उरे एप्लिकेशन से कंस्ट्रेंट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन मैक्सिमा मिनिमा इस अब ओढ़ देते देन फॉलोइंग आर द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ लेगरांज मल्टीप्� ओके ये वाले स्ट्रक्चर्ड आयरिक ना निगला आप फाइव मार्क इन्दे आंसर चाहिए अंडर दे देन यू विल गेट मैक्सिमम मार्क ओके लेट मी एक्सप्लाइन द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ लेगरांज मल्टीप्लायर इन्हें सिंबल पॉइंट वाइज फॉर्मेट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट हियर इज़ दैट लेगरांज मल्टीप्लायर प्रोवाइड्स एन इफेक्टिव the second point here is that the Lagrange multiplier techniques is better suited to dealing with more than two variables. Independent variable or explanatory variables onnil kooddal illa functions deal chayyaan Lagrange multiplier valare valare helpful aadha. That is we know that the method of Lagrange multiplier can be extended to solve problems with multiple constraints. Okay. The third point here is that, you know, Lagrange multiplier is also effective to find out the optimum point, that is either maxima or minima of an objective function, like, you know, utility function or profit function or cost function subjected to more than one constraint. Please note that point. That is, it is also effective to find out the optimum point of an objective function subjected to more than one constraint. Another simple point here is that Lagrange multiplier also deals the cases where the constraint is an implicit rather than explicit function. The fifth point is that you know Lagrange multiplier describes the sensitivity of the objective to changes in the constraints. I'm going to explain to lambda. That is Lagrange multiplier measures the marginal impact upon the objective function due to a small change in the constant of the constraint. Okay, simple point on it. Now, let me tell you the marginal utility of money. You know, the question is that the value of lambda is the value of the marginal utility in the case of utility function. Okay, then the last point is that, you know, Lagrange multiplier and its applications in economics are large, especially in solving constrained optimization like utility maximization, cost minimization and profit maximization. Now we can wind up the session. Simple idea of topic on it. There are problems and carrying like a deal in the areas on chapter 3. That's why we are in the theoretical part. It's a simple part. Descriptive item in the area. Points in the same way, introduction and main body IT R points then conclude it is highly useful in economics especially in solving constrained optimization like cost minimization, utility maximization and profit maximization and so on. Okay? In the coming video, we will discuss Lagrange multiplier and constrained optimization. How can we solve a problem like utility maximization subject to a constraint cost minimization subject to some constraints similarly profit maximization subject to constraints okay but anywhere in the videos like a number problems in the lady Marisela can I'm partial differentiation already they will prepare a carrying a lot of like a our tool on a mathematical tool on a number of a bio you can know they well, there is a simple item carrying like a solve a first order condition and second order condition and like that. Okay. Have a nice day.